today we are going to have ourselves a little fall inspired craft and hobby day. Hello and welcome. My name is Bianca and I love all things crafting and creating on a budget. It's still very warm here, so that makes it difficult to get into the fall spirit. So today is just going to be all about doing all the fall things to make us feel warm and cozy. And what better way to kick off today than to make some little fall inspired candles. I always save my candle containers and jars after I burn the candles because I can reuse them to make new candles. So that's what we're going to be doing today. This candle was from Target. It's the Opal House brand, but it's an orangey color and it looks like a little pumpkin. So I feel like this would be perfect. And then this one, and this one was either from Target or TJ Maxx, but I feel like this one is also a good fall color. So we do still need to go buy some candle making supplies for these. I'm also going to be making the best, the best pumpkin muffins. And I told myself I'm only allowed to make these in the fall. So I've been waiting literally all year to make these again. They are so good. I will share the recipe with you guys. I do make some of my own adjustments to the recipe. So I will also share what I do instead. And then you can either follow that or you can follow the original recipe. And lastly, on today's agenda, I want to make some cute little fall inspired fridge magnets. I've been seeing a lot of people do this with air dry clay on TikTok. And that inspired me to make some seasonal fall magnets for our fridge. I think it would be cute to make some little pumpkin pie magnets, maybe some fall leaves, obviously some little pumpkins, let them air dry and then paint them and glue on the magnets. So, and before we go and gather our supplies for these projects, I think it would just be fitting if we made ourselves a little fall inspired coffee beverage, maybe pumpkin spice. Okay, we're on our way to run some errands for the day. I need to go to the craft store and get some supplies and I need to go to the grocery store and get some pumpkin puree. It is a very gloomy day here right now in Florida. We have a hurricane, another hurricane coming. We just had Hurricane Helene like a week ago and we have another one coming in two days predicted to be a category three. So while I'm running my errands for craft supplies, I'm also gonna be getting some hurricane prep items that I'm running low on. But our first errand is gonna be Hobby Lobby. I need to get some clay, some paint, magnets, wax, some wax scent, wicks, craft paper, and cupcake cups. So let's go. So I have all of my baking supplies here and then all of my candle making supplies over here. And I'm gonna try to multitask here and do both. So I'm gonna start preparing my wax and then while the wax is melting, I'll start making my batter for the pumpkin muffins. And this is what I got to make the candles. These are the soy wax flakes. So we're gonna open this up and we're going to fill this little pot here and we're gonna warm this up at a low temperature. And these are the fragrances that I picked out. I felt like they were seasonal. Sweet vanilla, cinnamon, baked apple, and oatmeal cookie. I feel like these would be the perfect fall scents. And they can also carry into the winter time as well. I have the recipe written down in my little recipe book. If I can find the website that I got it from, I will link that. And I wrote these ingredients exactly as I saw them from the recipe. So I'm gonna tell you guys what I do differently. It calls for a stick and a half of butter and I'm only gonna be using one stick of butter and it also calls for two cups of sugar and I'm only gonna be using one cup of sugar. Everything else is pretty much the same. I also do not add the cloves or the nutmeg and it's not because I don't like those spices, it's because I don't have them. And last year when I made these, I only had cinnamon. So I just replaced the nutmeg and the cloves for more cinnamon and it turned out great. And I just want to give a shout out to my extremely talented boyfriend, Kyle, for making all of my background music that you guys hear. I messed up. I forgot that the sugar was supposed to be mixed with the egg and butter, and I put it in with the other dry ingredients. So, so now we have no other option but to just run with this and hope it still turns out the same. Two eggies. Two 
one stick of softened butter, and one can of Libby's Pure Pumpkin. This smells so good already and it hasn't even been baking yet. I'm gonna use this quarter cup as my little measuring scoop. And something else that I like to do that is not a part of the original recipe is to add brown sugar on top of each one. I think it makes such a big difference in just the texture when you bite into it. I do this to my banana bread too and it makes it 10 times better. Maybe not 10 times better, but a lot better. I made these muffins very full, so I think I'm gonna do 35 minutes instead of 30. And we'll check them around 30 minutes just to see, but I feel like they're gonna need a little bit of extra time. Now that it's melting, I feel like I need more. Like this might be enough for one candle, maybe. Yeah, okay. I think we have enough for one candle. So I'll do this one to start. Now we have to decide what scent we want this one to be. That smells so good. Um, how do I know how much to use? Does this tell me? So I think maybe just one thing. I'm gonna do baked apple for this one. Uh, we'll do one more. Cause that only filled half. Okay, I'm gonna do the oatmeal cookie for this one. And then that one's gonna be baked apple. I don't have the glue that you're supposed to use for these. So I think if I just put the wick at the bottom and I wrap it around this, Okay, now we're gonna make our last candle. And this one, I think I wanted to do the oatmeal cookie scent. <sighs> it smells so good. And I did two of these last time, and I feel like that was good. toothpick test and see if they're ready or if they need a few more minutes. Perfect. I can't even describe how good these smell. I want to eat one so bad, but Kyle's going to be home in a little bit and I wanna do a taste test with him. So as soon as he steps in that door, we are going to do a taste test on these pumpkin muffins because they look so good. Okay, it's been like two minutes and I can't wait any longer. He'll just have to do his taste test separately. Mmm. How do I not just eat the whole thing now? It's impossible. And our wax is finally starting to solidify. You can kind of see that film forming on the top. It's probably gonna be a few hours before these are ready to light. So in the meantime, I think I'm gonna make myself a little bit of lunch. Would it be really bad if I made myself pumpkin pancakes? Pumpkin. 
No, it's good. I'm, it's really good. It's really good. It's like the best pumpkin you muffin ever. You knocked it out of the park. Thanks. Awesome. Good job. So up until this point, everything you guys have watched was filmed the day before we got hit by Hurricane Milton. It's currently Monday and we were hit last Wednesday night by the hurricane. We have all the windows open in the house because we are still without power. Luckily, it's been decent outside. There's a little bit of a breeze that comes in through the windows, so it could definitely be a lot worse. We're very fortunate because our home has minimal damage, just some lost shingles and our fence is gone. The days following the hurricane, we just spent cleaning up our own yard, our neighbor's yard, friends and family's yards. So I figured today would be a good day to finish up this video and do our air dry clay magnets. You may hear a lot of background noise during this video because I have an open window right here and there is a lot of commotion outside, so I apologize in advance if it's a little bit noisy. And this is the air dry clay that I'm gonna be working with. I knew I was onto something when I bought the air dry clay because if I would have bought the oven baked clay, we would not be able to do this right now. So very happy we have this. These are the colors that I bought at the craft store. They're basically just primary colors. I figured I can mix them to make any custom colors I need. And then these are colors that I already had. And then we have our little magnets and some super glue to attach them. And I feel like now would also be a good time to show you guys our little candles. Surprisingly, we have not needed to use these because we've just been lighting candles that we already have around the house. But what perfect timing to have made candles now that we don't even have power. This one, this one is the apple and then this one was the oatmeal cookie. And now all we have to do is cut the wicks and light them. I think they turned out so cute. This one only filled about halfway, so I could have put more in here. I still could put more in here, but I figured I'll just burn what I have here and then I can refill it again. I've never used this air dry clay before, so this is going to be a bit of an experience. I mean, <laughs> experiment, experiment, experience and an experiment. I'm kind of thinking I shouldn't be doing this on my desk. Oh well. I wanna try to make a little pumpkin pie, a little pumpkin, maybe some fall leaves, and maybe a little cappuccino. That's what I'm going to attempt. We'll see as I work on this how much I can actually accomplish. My first attempt at making a pumpkin was a more 2D version of a pumpkin, and to be honest, I was not happy with how it looked. So I gave it a second go and tried a new technique, and I tried to make it a more 3D pumpkin, and I was much happier with these results. Now that my pieces are dry, we can start to paint them. This air dry clay was a lot more difficult to work with than I expected. I have a little bit of experience working with your standard kiln dry clay, and this is very, very different. The texture is almost like it has paper mache mixed with it. It has these like little, it has these little textured particles inside of it. So when you're trying to cut it, it's really hard to make a smooth line. And I'm sure that has something to do with whatever the ingredients are necessary to make it air dry clay. So that's something to keep in mind. It's going to be a little bit different to work with if you're not familiar with it. I think these turned out okay being my first air dry clay project. They are definitely not perfect and I just don't think it's worth the energy to spend sanding these down. So we're just going to paint them as is. I'm gonna go over them with resin and then cure it so that it has a shinier finish. And I think that'll kind of help to tie everything together as well. I tried to just use one color at a time, so when I was using the white, I went through each piece and painted whatever needed to be white, and then I moved on to the next color and painted whatever needed to be that color, so on and so forth. I just feel like it helped me to stay a little bit organized when I was painting so that I wasn't just all over the place. And some of the colors I did mix to make a more custom color, and a few of the areas also needed a second coat. And now we can glue on our little magnets. And I'm just gonna attach them using some super glue.
I use this to make jewelry out of pressed flowers. So I'm not sure how it's gonna work for this project, but I'm just gonna use this brush to spread it around and then I'm gonna use my nail lamp to cure it. And here's how they turned out. I think they turned out really cute for my first go at it. I think the pumpkin pie and the pumpkin pie slice are my favorite. And I hope that something in this video inspired you guys. Thank you for watching and until next week, bye.